you have started a Minecraft server. It's on your computer. It's good to go. And whenever you start it, your friends can't join. Even though you port forwarded, everything is done correctly. But for some reason, your friends can't still join. Well, that's probably Windows Defender Firewall. So go ahead and open up the start menu and type in just that. Windows Defender Firewall and it will open up, well, Windows Defender. Next, we want to go allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And in here, we're looking for a few things. We are looking for Java. Right here is Java, for example. We're also looking for Minecraft. Now, Minecraft might not be in there. Java might not be in there. But in our case, we have both. So we have Minecraft here. So to make sure both of these are checked and we want to make sure they're both public and private checked over here. Then we want to go up here and do the same for everything in Java. For example, some of these Javas aren't checked. If you can't check these, by the way, you just got to get change settings right here. And when you click that, now it'll let you go in here and change all of these and you'll be good to go. You want to do this for anything involving the word Java. So Java W, Java Platform SE Binary, anything involving the word Java needs to be enabled and have public and private networks enabled for your Minecraft server. You'll also want to make sure that you don't have anything called Open JDK. So right here is Open JDK. We want that open to public and private networks as well. That's a different version of Java, basically. Now, when you click OK here, it's going to go ahead and save those. And generally, you're good to test things, but you might not be done. You might need to go into advanced settings. And before I show you how to do that, you don't have to worry about doing any of this, by the way, on a simple game hosting Minecraft server at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash simple. At simple game hosting, you get your server set up in minutes, can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and don't have to worry about port forwarding your own computer hardware. Your server is up 24-7 anytime you want your server online, it is online. And there's even expert live chat support there to help you out. So start a Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash simple. Nonetheless, when you click advanced options, it will pull this up. And what we want to do is go to inbound rules. Now, in here, you'll see a few things that do look familiar. For example, we've got Java. We want to make sure all of these are checked with the green check mark here. For example, if it doesn't have a green check mark next to it, it's just blank. You want to go ahead and click on it like this and click on enable rule and it will turn on. You want to do this for Java, anything with the word Java in it. You also want to do it for anything with the word Minecraft in it, which we actually don't have in this case, as well as anything with OpenJDK. If it's not got that green check mark next to it, click on it and click enable rule. Now, occasionally, you will need to add this manually if it's still not working and what you can do is click on new rule up here and then you want to click on program click next and then you want to browse to find the program that you want click on local disk on the left hand side and go into program files then find Java click on whatever versions here currently have Java 21 you may have a newer or older version click on that and then click on bin finally find java.exe click on it and then click next Allow the connection here, click next, click next again, and then name it. This is Java manually added, for example, and click finish. Now you want to quickly repeat that process again, doing everything exactly the same, except instead of selecting Java, select Java W.exe, and then at the end you'll have to name it something different, Java W manual add just so you have different names on those and it's that easy to add java and allow people to join your minecraft server if windows defender is blocking them if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below but you now know how to add minecraft and allow java through your windows defender firewall we'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace